Hey guys, Jack's your free auto mechanic. Uh, we're looking at this 2019 Ford Fiesta. Uh, the problem that's going on is the low tire pressure light has come on, so we're going to check it out, see what's going on. Uh, let me show you what that little light looks like. So just driving down the road, it was wet out, raining, hydroplane, that light came on. That's the, the tire pressure monitoring system symbol. So you're going to want to know what your tire pressure needs to be. And you're going to need a tire pressure gauge. Uh, I can link below if you need one. Generally, on the inside of your car, there's a label right down here. It's going to look just like this. And that's going to tell you your precise pressure that you're going to need. It's 32 PSI on this car. So now that we know that we need 32 PSI in each tire, you want to go around each tire, remove the valve stem cap, check the pressure. And this pressure, well, if you can read it, is just under 30 PSI. So now you think, oh, this has got to be the one that's got the problem. It's got low pressure. Now you want to check all the tires to make sure your gauge is reading accurate. If every single one of them reads the same pressure, then that's not the issue. So now I'm going to go ahead and check the one on the front. And I don't know if you could tell before, but it's just below the 30 PSI the same. So let's check the rest of them. Now this one's quite a bit low. So that was about two or three pounds below the 30. And you can see this one's kind of low as well, but pretty close to what the rest of them are reading. And we're going to reset the tire pressure to 32 PSI as per the label on the door. And see if that doesn't take care of it. So you can use just about any air compressor you got laying around, of course. I like this one because it's got a built-in gauge that I can use. It's not quite as accurate, but I can get it pretty close. So now we're a lot closer to the 32 that we're looking for. We'll just go around and do the same thing for all the rest of the tires. Hey, something worth mentioning in case you didn't know. This is on the back side of this pressure gauge. This is to let pressure out if you overfill it. Got too much in there, you check. Oh, need to let some out. You just turn it over. That's what lets it out. So now I've got all the tire pressures equalized. Uh, just above 30 on the gauge. That's pretty close to 32. Hey, look at there. Didn't even have to move it. Lights out, it's reset. 